Good evening, everyone. I'm Melanie Christopher. And I'm Byron Brown. First tonight, President Trump in Mississippi, two rallies in support of Cindy Hyde-Smith. He just wrapped up an event in Tupelo and is now headed to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We have team coverage starting with WJTV 12's Terrence Friday. Terrence? Melanie Byron, good evening. The president is set to land at the Gulfport Biloxi International Airport in about 30 minutes from now. There are hundreds of people inside the Coast Coliseum here, Coliseum here in Biloxi waiting for him now. now. The president, as we've mentioned, is here in support of Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith, who is now preparing for that important runoff election tomorrow against Democratic candidate Mike Espy. We wanted to know if whether or not some of the president's supporters here were concerned about the comments that Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith has said recently that have had her in the hot seat. Here's what some of them had to say. The statements that she's made, you really don't pay any attention to those. They're, they're basically statements that you would hear down here all the time. And it was unfortunate, but it's not what she says, it's what she does. It's the actions that she does for our, for our state and what she's going to help Trump do in, in, uh, in the Senate. We'll hear from more of them in our later shows, and that rally is set to start at 8 p.m. That's where my co-anchor, Margaret Ann Carter, is now. She's live inside the Coliseum. Margaret Ann, how's it going? This is a historic visit because President Trump will be joined by Vice President Mike Pence. And behind me, people are already crowding that floor, and they'll be feet away from the nation's two top leaders who will stand in solidarity with Mississippi Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith. In recent months, all eyes have been right here on Mississippi Senate race. In the last month, Hyde-Smith has been the center of controversy after making comments about attending a public hanging and voter suppression. But Republican leaders have stood by her side, and that's what we're expecting to see again tonight. In less than 24 hours, voters across the state will head to the polls to cast their ballot for Democrat Mike Espy or Republican Senator Hyde-Smith. And the president, along with the governor, are pulling out all the stops to make sure Hyde-Smith keeps that seat. She hasn't been in D.C. too long. But since she's been there, she was appointed by the governor several months ago when Senator Thad Cochran retired. But she's proudly said she will stand behind Trump on every issue. And that is one of the main things that people here tonight care about. They say that they will vote with Sen for Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith because a vote for Hyde-Smith is a vote for Trump. And they want somebody who's going to go to D.C. and stand behind the president. We're going to be live here all night. The president isn't expected to take that stage behind until about 8 o'clock. We will have live coverage online as well as on air tonight at 9 and 10. You can follow me at Margaret Ann WJTV on Twitter and on Facebook. For now, we're live in Biloxi. Margaret Ann Carter, WJTV 12.